Love is the most beautiful feeling in the world, it unites and binds us, and it can also bring us to our knees in an instant. If you love the wrong person, though, you will never experience true happiness and true love, it's like a double-edged sword that can destroy your entire world. If the person you love doesn't value your love, it becomes an addiction, and you chase them more intensely in an attempt to win their love, which ultimately leaves you more broken and empty. You may love someone from the bottom of your heart, but if they ignore you, insult you, and minimize your significance, then the more you lose your dignity and respect. The truth is that you don't have to live as a prisoner of your desire. Hello and welcome to Top Lista please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In this video, I'll tell you 7 1, keep your focus focused. Allow them to freely get your attention even if it costs you. Don't just hand out your attention it's valuable when you give it away to anyone and everyone they don't see it as something special you need to make them work for it your time your focus and your energy should be earned not just given away this isn't about being mean it's about respect respect yourself and make others respect you too if you're always there and always available you become common you want to be rare something worth chasing so step back a bit don't jump every time they call make them realize that getting your attention is a privilege when you do this you become more interesting and more valuable people start seeing you in a new light they understand that your time is not to be taken for granted and that's how you start to change the game your attention should be a reward not a giveaway rule to stop investing too much effort in relationships rather let them invest to keep going the relationship it's a two-way street you've been putting in too much effort and it's time for that to change you shouldn't be the only one trying the only one making plans or the only one keeping things alive it's exhausting and unfair let them step up they need to show they're just as invested as you are this isn't about playing games it's about having a fair balanced relationship where both parties contribute if you're always the one doing everything they get complacent they take you for granted pull back a little give them space to put in their share of the effort it's healthy for the relationship and it's good for you you'll quickly see how invested they truly are it's important to keep in mind that a relationship is a collaboration rather than a solo endeavor. When you work toward this, you earn respect and encourage a more balanced and healthy relationship. Rule 3, make it obvious that you can live a good life with or without them. Tell them you are not in need of them. When you demonstrate that you're content on your own, that you're not hopeless or waiting for someone else to brighten your day, rather, you're creating an appealing and respectable version of yourself, it's a strong move. When they see that you're not clinging to them for your happiness, they start to see you differently and realize that you're not just another person dependent on them, but rather someone who chooses to be with them and not someone who needs to be remembered. You're not cold, you're just confident. You're showing that your world doesn't revolve around them. This isn't about being harsh, it's about being strong. Being independent is essential. Rule 4, let them know you're okay, by yourself and observe how they begin to pay more attention. At this point, you're no longer simply another option in their lives, you're a decision they want to make. Relying on them for emotional stability will not provide you with superhuman power, instead, you should cease being overly emotionally dependent on them. Being dependent on someone else to lift you up or make you happy when you're sad is giving away too much power over your emotions. You need to be the master of your own emotions. It's not about shutting them out, it's about not depending on them for everything. You have to take care of things yourself first. This isn't just for your own benefit, it also alters how they perceive you and demonstrates your own resilience. Start addressing your feelings on your own and develop your emotional strength. When you're not emotionally attached to someone, you transcend above being merely a partner and become someone people look up to and respect. That's the sort of person you want to be, dependable, beautiful, and respected. Adhere to Rule 4, which focuses on emotional self-sufficiency. By doing so, you'll not only feel more resilient, but also more worthy of following Rule 5. Prepare to sever ties. It's a harsh rule, but it's important to set clear expectations for how you should be treated. If they can't live up to those expectations, or if they treat you like you don't matter, it's time to walk away. 
This rule isn't about being harsh, it's about valuing yourself. You should no longer settle for being someone's backup plan or second choice, you deserve better. If they can't see that they're not worth your time, this rule isn't just about making a statement, it's about protecting your worth. By demonstrating that you won't tolerate being treated poorly, you send a strong message that that's the type of strength that gets you not only respect, but the proper kind of attention. Keep this in mind the next time you're ready to go. If you're not respected, you command respect and demonstrate that you're not someone to be taken lightly. Rule 6. Quit chasing after their affirmation and approval. You don't require it. Your value isn't dependent on their opinion of you. Too many times, you've looked to them for confirmation that you're doing okay. It's time to stop doing that. Your decisions, your life, and your worth are valid because you say they are, not because someone else says so. You must be firm in your self-worth, your actions, and your beliefs. When you stop waiting for their approval, you start empowering yourself. This change affects more than just you, it changes how they see you. When they realize you're not clinging to their every word and aren't desperate for their approval, they begin to respect you more and begin to view you as an equal who is confident in themselves. Keep in mind that your validation comes from within, not from outside sources. Rule 6 is about self-assurance and realizing your value on your own, without the need for validation from others. Accept this and observe how the dynamics shift. You're not only stronger as a result, you also become someone they look up to. Rule 7. Don't always show them how much you care or how much you love them. When you do, it's as though you're giving them your power. When you tell them everything, they begin to take you for granted. You have to hold back a little. This will make them wonder and make them want to earn your love. If you give it all to them too quickly, you're just another person they can easily forget. It's important to demonstrate your value rather than just playing games, so keep your feelings to yourself and let them pursue that emotion. Your love is special, make them work for it. When you do this, you become more than just someone they know, they come to see you as someone they want to win over. Keep in mind that when you withhold something from them, they become more curious, and the more curious they are, the more they will realize how valuable you are. Keep them wondering and observe how they begin to consider you more, for who you are before moving on to the next video, after the conclusion of this one would you be willing to be the loved one who comes first or a loser? He difference between positive thinking and the law of attraction. In the laws of human nature, the great Robert Greene makes the diction between having a constricted, negative, attitude and expansive, positive, attitude. The way we see the world is important. To illustrate this, he uses the example of a young man and a young woman studying abroad in Paris. The young man has a constricted attitude. He finds reasons to not like the people, the weather, or the food. Notre Dame Cathedral wasn't what he hoped, not to mention it is overcrowded with annoying tourists. He has a miserable experience in Paris and swears to never return. The young woman has an expansive attitude. She's not great at speaking French but she is thrilled to be learning the language. She finds the Parisians to be awesome and makes a lot of new friends. She finds the gloomy weather to be the perfect match for this romantic city. Every day feels like an adventure. She's enchanted and wants to stay as long as she can and then return as often as she can. Two people saw and experienced the same city in opposite ways. How does that happen? With our particular perspectives, Robert writes, we add color to or subtract it from things and people. We focus on either the beautiful Gothic architecture or the annoying tourists. So yes, positive thinking is important. Our reality is largely created by what we decide to see, the positive or the negative. If you have positive thoughts, you will have positive experiences. If you see everything as negative and nasty, you will see annoying people and crappy weather I defy you to write in the remark, I will be the person who creates his own happiness and does not seek love. If you're serious about receiving such raw and unseedy wisdom click the subscribe button to maintain your strength.